This video is part 2 of the best add-ons that comes with Blender. These built-in add-ons are free and you just need to enable them by going to edit, then preferences tab, then add-ons and you will have the list of built-in add-ons that comes with Blender. These add-ons are really useful and they can simplify and reduce the time spent doing some things when working in Blender. Also, in case you are asking the question if these add-ons are useful, why aren't they enabled by default? Well, the answer for that is the more add-ons you enable, the more longer Blender takes to load. So Blender doesn't enable them all, but gives you the option to use the add-ons that you need. Now, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teaches you to create four high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. 3D Print Toolbox This add on has really great tools and operations to make your 3D model ready for 3D printing. Even if you're not interested in 3D printing, you can use some of the tools in your 3D creation process, like the cleaning non-manifold operation, which removes every vertices, edges, or faces that are floating beyond the model by mistake, or any duplicate geometry that you don't need. Real Snow This add-on allows you to create snow on top of any object you select. You can even select multiple objects it gives you the option to change the height of the snow and the coverage percentage and if you take a closer look at the generated snow you can notice that it has a pretty good material it has adaptive subdivision enabled and realistic displacement you can even check the material in the shader editor and also you can change some of the nodes there or some of the parameters because this add-on is a free add-on Scatter Objects You can guess from the name that this add-on allow you to quickly scatter objects on a surface. After enabling the add-on, you will get a panel that gives you settings like the scale, rotation and density of the objects you are going to scatter. Now you can scatter your object by selecting the object you want to scatter, then the surface and then you need to press F3 and search for scatter objects. All you need to do after that is to draw lines on the surface and see how the objects are going to be scattered. To confirm the operation you just need to click enter. I know you can do some things like this using Blender particle system or the geometry nodes using the curve draw tool but this add-on makes it much more easier. Carver. Carver is a really useful add-on especially for hard surface modeling. It allows you to cut through objects easily. You can activate the add-on by pressing Ctrl and X. The add-on gives you the ability to change between different cut types like rectangle, line or circle. So it's really useful when it comes to creating holes or cuts that goes through your mesh. As a side note here, make sure that you're on the orthographic view to get the best result. Geodesic Doom As the name suggests, this built-in add-on allows you to create geodesic dooms in Blender. The add-on has so many parameters and presets, like you can change the radius, shape and much more of the geodesic doom. It also gives you the ability to work with different shapes like spheres and cylinders for example. You can even change the geometry from triangles to hexagons or stars. Stored Views The Stored Views add-on gives you a panel where you can save your view position and angle to quickly access them later. This add-on is really useful when modeling for example. You can save the front, back and side of your view or if you want to save a camera angle for another render, this add-on gets the job done. Disco Mobilator 
This built-in add-on is really useful, especially for sci-fi scenes and environments, because it allows you to add randomization on a 3D model or object's faces, and it gives you so many settings to play with, like the height of the faces, the taper, also you can enable DODAS which gives you additional geometry and more parameters to control that geometry randomization. Measure it. This add-on will come in handy if you are working on an architectural design for example, because Measure It is a Blender add-on that allows you to measure your objects. So to use the add-on, you need to go to the edit mode and then select an edge or multiple edges. Then you will go to the panel that the add-on provides and click show the segments and it will give you the measurements. And you can also show and hide specific measurements and change the preview color of the measurement. VR Scene Inspection The VR Scene Inspection add-on exposes and extends the native visual reality features of Blender. In the user interface, it allows you to create a VR session for your 3D scene as a side note here, make sure to check the head mounted display section on the Blender manual for VR scene inspection to see the supported platforms for this add-on, to make sure which headset is going to work with this add-on. iVision iVision is an add-on that allows you to quickly add IV on a surface in Blender. After enabling the add-on, you can go to your end panel and under create, you have the iVision panel, which you can generate by pressing the generate button. You also have a bunch of settings like the size and the length of the IV. You can also enable or disable leaves. And of course, they also have some settings to play with. Just don't forget to press on the update button so you can see how the settings you changed affect your IV. Bear in mind that the IV will be generated where the 3D cursor is placed. Also make sure to change the material for the leaves to something that has an opacity map so you are not stuck with a bunch of planes. Now tell me in the comments below which blender add-on you like the most and why. I just love to have this conversation with you guys. Don't forget to watch the first part of this video for more great built-in add-ons. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.